on Vice with Patrick Rizzi, who is Shio Z. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. I can start speaking about Shio Z. Shio Z is my Synthway project. It was born uh, more or less 10 years ago. Has an electric experimental project. So my idea was to put together uh, every element. Uh, visual effects, and music, sounds, performance, but it was uh, a lot expensive about energy. So my size changed for a new way of style because I feel it myself, felt myself more close to hate sounds. So new wave, dark wave. Now it was three years that I approached in the, this synthwave style. All right, so you recently moved here from Italy, and we are now in Brazil. Yes, yes. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, there is a very strange connection uh, between Italy and Brazil, because from uh, 200 years, more or less, the whole is there is uh, immigration from Italy to Brazil for reason of social problem, uh, world war, and uh, now there is a, there is a, there is a very uh, hard crisis, uh, economic crisis. So, Italian try to find uh, out a good uh, way to life, to, to do a normal life. So I found here in Brazil my life, my new life. Perfect. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about Sun Lover Records? Okay. Sun Lover Records, it's uh, the last piece of me, the latest piece of me that I left in Italy with uh, Vincenzo Salvia, Alexander Friedrich, who is uh, Apollo Zap and Alessandro Strickner, who is a uh, horror group. And uh, we decided to realize uh, this experiment uh, as a fun way, a fun way to put together simply, uh, the reason it was to put together uh, good music uh, without too much commitments. Yeah. And, uh, some of the records ever a way to discover someone, some artist, a sub producer, which is in the in the middle of all of this uh, kind of situation today. You know, there is a very saturation in how we're seeing of uh, uh, many artists who uh, copy the same stuff, mm -hmm. and in the middle of this, there is someone who does serve, and uh, some of the records. Uh, it's a good uh, way to show with. Uh, Compilation uh, with music. Cool. So, can you tell me a little bit about your inspirations? The main inspiration is from the Haiti songs. Uh, so, I'm doing actually I'm doing a synth wave and a and uh, so the main uh, stream uh, for my inspiration is that the uh, Haiti songs. Uh, so, what are your thoughts on the scene and where everything's headed and your part in it. Okay. About the scene wave things, the, uh, I think it's a, a very great and good community because it's so I can say that it's uh, the first time in my life that I involved in a, a very great community uh, with uh, good energy. <laughs> so uh, I, I think actually now. Uh, this uh, scene, it's very okay. Saturated, uh, what I said, saturated with uh, too much clone, uh, clone, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I think that it's a good moment now to uh, to keep this situation. I mean, the, in every in every every scene, uh, there are a few, very little, few. Uh, Strong uh, uh, artist and strong um, center who are able to um, to bring and push the scene. Well, what sort of things do you think people can do to advance the scene? Uh, a good way to push up the scene is uh, create collaborations. For example, this is one of the ways. Collaboration not just with internal artists, the uh, artists that I inside the same scenes. For example, I have a uh, okay, I have a great collaboration, good, good, great collaboration with Pleasance, High Pleasance. And uh, but 
collaboration with some something different and outside the scenes. Uh, it means, for example, that uh, uh, in the last month uh, a German band asked me uh, contacted me to in order to realize um, a, a cover or remix of one of song of, uh, of them. But uh, they are a blues and groove uh, band. It's uh, okay. totally outside the synth wave scene. But they are interested to realize something. Uh, one of the they track in uh, this uh, in this way. So this uh, I think is a good way in order to to find collaboration with artists that are outside the scenes. All right. So what sort of plans do you have for the future? Okay, for the future. For the future, I don't know for the future, but I know that I'm very good, relax because uh, I came from the last experience of uh, Z machinery. That it uh, it involved me in very great efforts. Uh, you know, uh, it's not just concert album, but it's a, a documentary, science fiction, uh, etc. Video clips, uh, about this concert. So now. I'm just realizing uh, some uh, remix, and I'm actually I'm studying I'm studying uh, the sounds. I'm using this time in order to to focus myself uh, to study new sounds uh, in order to create tools, personal tools, uh, peculiar tools for for next songs. I think the next project it will be uh, a little EP, not. Not so much uh, expensive uh, uh, in terms of uh, energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just uh, four or five uh, tracks. Uh, something, something, something to keep people busy and not to take too much effort on your part. Yeah, it is. Now it's time to, to relax myself in order uh, to, to get that great research. And so, enjoy Brazil. Yeah, enjoy Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> now we are in summer Brazil. Now I have to enjoy it. So this summer and this relax. Alright, so do you have any final thoughts? I want to use this time to talk uh, about uh, Synthwave Brazil. Synthwave Brazil with Els. It's a project started by um, Citizen Kinout and uh, his friends Matheus Bueno. And they are involved with me in this project because I'm here in Brazil. Uh, so, and I think Brazil is a very good place to grow up. Uh, to let Sintway grow up because uh, Brazil is a land of diversity. Uh, here there are a myriad of different uh, styles of music, life, uh, taste, religion, uh, and there's, there is no war between this difference uh, inside this land. Alright, so we want to thank Patrick Grizzly for being here with us, and we also want to thank all our patrons on Patreon. Uh, if you haven't contributed and you enjoyed our episode, um, we'd like to bring you plenty more, so go to patreon.com slash neonvice to contribute. Any, anything else? Uh, I want to thank so the, um, the enterprise where I work here in Brazil, the, the Effector, uh, who permits us to realize this interview. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, and I hope you all enjoyed.